Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today, as you can see, we're playing some more Fire Emblem Engage. We've got version 2.0 and what that means is Wave 4 DLC. The Fel Xenolog is here. The story DLC has been dropped. Uh, yesterday you all got uh, the finale of the main story and we're going straight into the Fel Xenolog today. So for you, uh, it's been out for a little while so many of you might be ahead of me on this one. Uh, but here we go, we're going to explore this. Now, for those of you who may have just found my channel, just know that I do have a full playthrough of Fire Emblem Engage on the channel. We played it on hard, and we played it without DLC to start with. So this is going to be my first time having any of the DLC at this point. So um, I don't have any of the extra uh, bracelets or anything like that. I wanted my first run to be completely clean, and I didn't want to get the DLC until all of it was out. So here we are, and here we go. Version 2.0. Expansion Pass. The Fel Xenolog has been added. Once you complete this new story, new allies will join your group, and the Enchanter and Mage Cannoneer classes will become available. Some new classes, that's fun. Free content. You will receive a set of Engage Weapon Refining Materials when you enter the Somnial after clearing Chapter 4. You can now obtain bonus content from Nintendo eShop for free. Okay. So rather than this being a sort of separate mode like in Three Houses, we do have to have a game that is, a, I think, at least to Chapter 7 or further. Um, so uh, we are going to have to reload our hard mode save. So that's what we're going to do. Just know that I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have to be around Chapter 7 before you can access the Felzinalog DLC. Okay. So some of this stuff here is some of our bonuses that we got from the DLC. And in order for us to start accessing the Xenolog DLC, first off, we have to get access to the well, which I did not have access to in my original playthrough because I finished it before that free DLC came out. I don't know. Hey, I lost a weapon down at the back garden well. If you spot it, could you grab it for me? You bet. I didn't initially know how to access this. I started a recording a couple minutes ago and just truly did not know how I was supposed to access the DLC. So I ended up restarting my playthrough because it was just a mess. It was just me running around trying to figure it out. So you're getting the much cleaner version right now. Here's the ancient well. Don't e I'm, I don't even want to try and pronounce that. Reprisai? And the revanche. I'm sure I crushed it. Okay, so we found two weapons. We're gonna go back to the armor. This here. You found my weapon. Thank you. Wait, you found both of these in the well? Neither is the one I dropped, but they're great. Clearly not forged in any of the nations I know. You should hold on to these, Divine One. There's something odd about that well. So, the ancient well, you can drop your unwanted items into the well. When you do, they'll disappear forever. Come back after at least one battle, however, and you'll find new items have taken their place. The more valuable items you drop, the more likely that you find... Likely, what you find is an upgrade in value. Huh, okay. Now, I don't know if in between Fel Xenolog missions, if we're going to be coming back here or not. We probably will be, right? Maybe we'll try this. Because like I said, I haven't used this at all. And now this cutscene will trigger the DLC. Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. The Fel Xenolog. You can access the Fel Xenolog from the Ancient Well. You do not have to complete it all at once. You can return to the world of the main story between chapters if you like. The Fel Xenolog also has a difficulty setting, separate from that of the main game. Okay. Alright, we're going to keep it in heart. What would I want to put in here? Maybe we'll try one of our silvers to start with? Should I do that? I 
So you can throw in multiple items. And it adds to the value. I see. So if I do that... Dude, I have like a whole bunch of uh, axes. Okay, four stars there. That also does four stars. Let's try that. Let's try that as our first one. Because we definitely don't need all of this stuff that we've currently got. Upgrade chances, four stars. You've dropped something in the well. Check back after your next battle for something new. Okay, well, we'll have to just see how that goes. To the Felzina log. Let's begin. Let's get this thing going. Dragons from afar. Faced one way, a thousand years separation. The other way, a hundred years regret. Pray, dream of my sorrow. Pray, dispel the darkness from this world. The only light here is in memory, and the hope you instilled flickers. Alas, I know the truth. In this world, there is no salvation. In this world, there is no you. Where am I? This isn't the Somniel. Who are you? I am. No, it is no matter. My name lost its meaning long ago. But I have this strange feeling, as if the two of us have met somewhere. We have never met before. Not in any way you would understand. I'm speaking to you from across a mirror. You are my reflection, and my land's last hope. Please. I need your assistance. Will you save those who are important to me? Of course. I'll help however I can. Really? You accept my plea without hearing what it entails? <laughs> I suppose I feel like helping you might ease some of my own anxieties. Almost as if this is a chance to get back... something that I lost a long time ago. In short, yes. I'm here for you. I'm glad to hear you say so. I was afraid you would refuse, since I'm unable to explain all the details. Suffice to say that the land I speak of is threatened by a foe with a wicked heart. The only hope for my people is for you to collect the seven bracelets. Bracelets? In my world... Got ourselves a new goal. Emblems dwell inside bracelets. You will need them in order to succeed. Now. I will transport you there. Those you encounter after arriving will guide you. Will you and I meet again? We will not. Nor have we ever met. Not even in this very moment. You speak so cryptically. Still, I get the feeling I will see you again. Be off now. I thank you, and wish you good fortune in the battles ahead. Man, lucky her. She got the full blue hair. Goodbye. My fellow Divine Dragon. My twin from another world. On your journey, I hope you feel joy, suffering, sorrow, and love. Because I will feel nothing anymore. I will never awaken again. Alright, so... I can already guess we're going to be fighting red-haired version uh, of female so leader then. Bright. That's going to be our Sister, final enemy. it worked! Our prayers are answered! After all these long years, at last our savior has come. <clears throat> you. Is that... Where am I? You are in Lethos Castle. We have long awaited your arrival. 
Thank you for answering our prayers. I am Nell, one of the dragons who resides here. And I am Nil, her twin brother. It's nice to meet you, Nell. And you, Nil. I'm the Divine Dragon. <sighs> so you are the Divine Dragon. Fate has made a cruel and mysterious choice. <clears throat> it is such a joy to see you reborn. Reborn? What does that... The Divine Dragon is deceased. You fell in the last war. Our world has been consumed by darkness in the time since. We have long prayed for a savior to aid us. And your appearance seems to be our answer. It is unfortunate. I would have preferred never to see you again. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> so, my guess is that since we only saw blue-haired female Alir, that maybe the blue side um, died? But that doesn't mean that the red side couldn't be kind of controlling her body and running around. So that's my guess is that uh, by the end of this, um, one of our enemies is probably going to be red haired female Lear. No, but we are in desperate need of aid and we do not have the luxury of choice. I will speak no more of it. Please follow me. I'm so sorry, Divine One. She is rather more upset by this than I would have expected. She and the Divine Dragon have a somewhat complicated history. This is the Bracelet Vault. Here, our emblem bracelets are kept secure. Now, the other DLC are also bracelets, right? So are we supposed to believe that um, the bracelets that we're finding in our world are maybe this world's bracelets that have somehow made it to our world? I wonder if that's what's supposed to be going on. I see. Upon that pedestal lies the bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. It is the sole bracelet in our possession. The emblems within it are safely in slumber. There are seven is that bracelets the in Robin? total. We lost the other six in the war with Sombron. So, he exists in your world as well. I will explain from the beginning. The first dragons were born millennia ago, and from them came the divine and fell dragons. For a time, there was peace, until the fell dragons turned to conquests and destruction. With the world under threat, the divine dragons and the people prayed for salvation. And that salvation came in the form of beings from other worlds known as emblems. The emblems were manifestations of those ardent prayers for peace. My sister and I were performing that ancient rite when you arrived. We thought a new emblem would appear to save us. And you got me. Yes, it was quite the shock. I'm still a bit beside myself. The emblems brought an end to the fighting, but only temporarily. A thousand years ago, Sombron sought to exploit the emblems for his own ambitions. We experienced that war firsthand. It was awful. The entire continent became a battlefield. The dragons and the royal families fought over the emblems until all sides were exhausted. But as we stood upon the brink of annihilation, the Divine Dragons won a key victory. Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, imprisoned Fell Dragon Sombron at the cost of her life. Okay, she died My in this timeline too. A thousand years ago? Her sacrifice bestowed peace upon the people even as they mourned her passing. But it was her successor who healed the wounded land and returned it to prosperity. Her successor? You mean the next Divine Dragon Monarch? Yes. You. <laughs> the Divine Dragon Monarch after Lumera was her own begotten child. So I took the throne after she died. Kinda. <laughs> this is so different from the history of my world. <laughs> you are a wonderful ruler. Under your reign, it seems like the world would be at peace for the rest of time. Now, when they say that they're dragons, are they also Sombron? Are, are they fell dragons or are they divine? They haven't really explained who, who they are necessarily, because we know that Alir is actually fell. Yeah, he just has a little bit of divine in him because it was given to him from Lumera. So what about these two? But it was not to be. Sombron eventually returned, and another war began. Whosoever gathers all seven of the awakened emblems 
will be granted immense power. Sombron intended to use that power to exact revenge and restore the Fell Dragon's honor. To achieve that end, he was willing to set the whole world ablaze. And I take it I lost this war. No, not exactly. You and Sombron each slew the other. On the night of the decisive clash, you and he perished at the same moment. So the Fell Dragon is already gone? Then who is it that's putting your world in danger now? An unknown malefactor is attempting to fulfill the late Sombron's ambitions. They come and go without a trace. We know nothing of their whereabouts or appearance. All we know for sure is that, like Sombron, this individual wants to collect the seven bracelets. In fact, we believe they already have two. One in Lethos Castle, two in enemy hands. Where are the other four? Each of the four nations of Elios possesses one. They once fought under a single banner, but that changed drastically after your death. Now, with nothing to unite them, the little ones, the humans, bicker among themselves. Thus far, they have kept one another in check, but war could break out at any moment. I don't know if the Divine Dragon's army was ever truly united. I saw them argue, in this very castle, about which nation was to blame for your death, which is absurd, of course. It was no one's fault. Now that our savior has arrived, it is imperative we reclaim the bracelets. The conflict we have avoided for years will soon be inevitable. You may need to cross blades with people who resemble your own friends and allies. So Nail has some beef with uh, her divine dragon, her Lear. So we're gonna figure we're gonna have to figure out what that's about. What happened? I understand. I'll brace myself for that possibility. So. You're both divine dragons, like me? What gave you that impression? Yeah, they're fell, aren't they? You said you were dragons, and you live in Lethos Castle, so I just assumed. Your assumption is incorrect. I think they're basically the same thing as what Alir is, they just don't know that Alir is also Sombron's kid. Uh, what she means, divine one, is that we... Watch out! Assassins! Okay, Fagato. No. That was Fagato, right? <laughs> She's a fell dragon! My brother and I both. In this world, fell dragons are born as twins. Ah, <laughs> dope. We severed ties with our father during the last war. We now fight against our misguided kin. I cannot transform. But that does not stop me from fighting at Nell's side. So are we actually going to have transforming dragons again? Are we going to have dragon stones? That would make me so happy. Because I was really hoping that dragon stones would pop up somewhere in this game. Fell dragon twins. Man, I, I knew I was going to like Nell. I Nail. simply assumed that you would already know what we were. It seems I was mistaken. If you will not aid us, you may leave. We will defend this world ourselves. All right, calm down. No. I got your back. I'll fight with you. I don't care about your heritage. If you truly want to protect this world, I'll be your ally. Ah, oh, that's a relief. Now, let us march into battle together, just like the good old days. Show us your medal, Divine One. We shall see if you are truly the answer to our prayers. All right, I try not to be too thirsty. Like, I try, I mostly fail, but I try not to be too thirsty. But damn, the second they released, like, uh, the portraits for these two characters, I was like, Nail's my girl. <laughs> Let's see if her character lives up to her design, because I actually really like her design. And in this game, that's nothing to scoff at, because some of the designs are ridiculous in this game. Hers is actually pretty good. Fail Xenolog Deployment. In Fail Xenolog Battles, your allies will have predetermined classes and levels. Okay, cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to level scale Alir, too. Their inventories are also predetermined, but you can swap items between units normally. Okay, so this is a lot like how they did the DLC in Three Houses, where basically you had basic setups um, that you kind of just had to figure out how to puzzle through. So we'll have a predetermined inventory that we have to manage. 
probably limited as well. Like, I don't know if we're going to have access to buying new vulneraries and stuff, so we might need to be a little bit uh, less liberal with our use of vulneraries until we find that out. Allies who fall in battle will return afterwards, regardless of your difficulty settings. Okay, interesting. Guest allies. The fail Xenolog features unique allies who will join you in each battle as guests. Nell is a powerful dragon unit. Neil is a capable support unit in conjunction with emblems, but is not well suited to the front lines. Okay, so Neil should be used with emblems, gotcha. Losing either Nail or Neil will count as a defeat, so be careful in using them. Okay, so we basically only have three units who can ever have us kind of like drop out of the party. It looks like we can just use any of our units. They just have a predetermined set of equipment. Okay. It's an interesting way of doing things. Don't mind it. Corrupted Wolf. Okay. Physical Attack 19. Looks like they're level 15. I'm level 15. Okay, so yeah, everybody's level 15. Okay, we got some bows back there. And it looks like you've got Tiki. Now, the interesting thing is, is because I haven't been playing the DLC, I actually don't know what these bracelets are capable of. Like, I don't know what Tiki's capable of. So this will be uh, sort of interesting. And uh, hopefully it won't be frustrating for those of you who know the DLC characters really well. Um, but for me, this is going to be my first experience with any of them. So just keep that in mind as we go through this is that I don't have the knowledge that you might have. So um, it's fine if you <laughs> if you get mad at me for not knowing something. But that's the reason why is I literally don't know. All right. So who do we want to go in with? Let's also I want to see. So let's see. OK. So you come in with that weapon, the fell spark. It's a physical attack. It's not magic based. Halves foes defense and resistance. That's interesting. Using the power of a fell dragon stone. Okay. You've got the axe. You've got a restore. Okay. So if you only have a restore... We're probably going to want to give you... It seems like you can use staves, so we'll probably want to trade a stave over to you. Let's figure out who's going in, though. Louie and Ivy? There's a couple of bow units, but I think we can handle them. I guess we'll find out since, uh, since our levels have been scaled. These aren't the units that I'm used to, so they may not be as strong as they are in my game, so that's something that I'll have to keep in mind. Could try and bring in Seedal for dances. Might be a bad idea, but we'll see. Oh, you can't trade with the guests? Well, that complicates things. Also, all of the units that we weren't using before are all viable now, because they all came in at level 15, so... I guess they do keep the skills that we've been teaching them, so all of our units are still going to be better.
All right, well, I suppose I'll try with this group. Yeah. The enemy has most likely come for the bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. Feels a little bit weird because it's like it's our characters, but it's also not our characters because they've been put down to level 15. Um, we must stop them here before they can reach its location. I forgot to set up rings, though. That's my bad. Ooh. <laughs> Cause yeah, he's supposed to have rings. Maybe we can give him Byla. Okay, so Louis, you've got Sigurd, which is always a pretty good one for you. Makai on you is not bad. Alir, you've got Marth. We could probably give you Ike. Ike, I'm ready. Neil, let's give you Byleth. Byleth. Nail, maybe Corin. Lynn could be good too. How's your speed? Your speed doesn't seem too bad. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to gauge all of that right now. Yeah, thirteen seems pretty good on speed. And then it'll be reinforced a little bit with Lynn. Lynn, leave it to me. Now I guess we can't really get bond levels up either, so we won't be able to really make use of that. for a little bit here. The enemy has most likely come for the bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. We must stop them here before they can reach its location. Ooh. Okay. You're a support unit, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Yes. In other words, they're trying to tell us that you're kind of soft. Well, I should have probably given him some other axes as options, but, but that's okay. Looked at me. Okay, you can do a decent amount of damage. If we kill the two that are right in front of us, it shouldn't be an issue. Understood. Nobody can touch Louie. All right. Sixty five's not great. Oh, no. Is this because? <laughs> I can f I mean they told me. <laughs> I thought I'd just, you know, give him a kill or whatnot, but you know, it's it's okay. There is no uh level ups, right? They're just gonna have predetermined levels all the time. That's what it looks like. Okay. Give me a task. Okay, what are you capable of? How much are you going to be taken back in return? Dude, I need to I need to see the fell spark, dude. Like I need to see it. Oh yeah. Okay, nails cool. So what am I going to be using you for? Yeah, I definitely should have gotten you better axes. Maybe we'll convoy some. I won't forget you.
cute, right? But watch out, those fangs will really leave a mark. Got some kind of debuff there. You can lift the Fang's curse with my restore staff. Give it to someone who can use it. The bite of a corrupted wolf inflicts a status effect called Cursed Fangs. Each stack of Cursed Fangs will reduce the max HP of the affected unit by five. The curse stacks with each hit and lasts for the rest of the battle unless you remove it using a restore staff. Okay. Um, give it to somebody who can use it. Does that mean you? Yo, you can't use it. Okay, I made assumptions. Yeah, I made assumptions. So you have a restore as well. And they do have durability still. Interesting. Okay. This guy's not going to be very useful right now, is he? guys are a little bit dodgy. Eighty and eighty-five on those. Okay. Why would you be able to attack from there? He doesn't have pass. I wonder if that was an error? Or if, oh, probably because he can go around. Yeah, he'd, he'd be able to move around. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. There's nothing in Convoy. I mean, that's the only way you're going to do damage to freaking Louie. <laughs> it's the only way. Yeah, even with a throwing axe, you'd be a little bit more useful, Nail. Wounded Pride, when an ally within two spaces defeats a foe, grants crit plus 10 to unit for one turn. Okay. Interesting. Also, that's a range one. That's also a range one. Okay, that was the other thing I wanted to check. <laughs> you 
were beautiful while you lasted. Now, is this like poison where it uh, stops at uh, so many stacks, or can it just be stacked infinitely? able to do enough damage to him? Probably not, right? No. Okay. Yeah, his speed is so bad, too. They're basically screaming at you, yeah, figure out what rings are actually going to make Neil good. <laughs> Okay, interesting. You are a sitting duck. Didn't realize you couldn't take that hit, but you absolutely cannot take those hits. Okay, so I needed to have blocked there. Do I have a solution? Not elegant. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna have to start using some uh, restores here soon. they doubling her before? I don't know if they were. Um, okay, so right here, we're going to engage. We're going to great ether. No time to rest. Probably should have used Lin on that turn. That probably would have been a better use of uh, Nell's turn. anywhere where Sigurd can use his uh, run-through ability. Unfortunately. This might be the turn that I need Byleth's dance. So I might want to see if I can set that up. How would I set that up? My apologies.
fight for my friends. All right, I'm not going to have the most efficient dance with the way I'm setting this up, but it is what it is. Now let's see. Nobody else can... So I can do it there. Yes. As if I'd lose. this. Yes, 58. I can't retreat now. You'll kill him on the uh, return attack. My apologies. How's your resistance? All right. All of you are one-shotting. I was gonna... I guess it doesn't even matter since there's no experience. I don't need to feed anything to Neil. So we truly don't need to have that in consideration. Yeah, because she's a felt she's a dragon. So she gets an extra. <laughs> cool. I gotta remember I can chain guard too. Okay, can't hit them all.
My push. I will help. Stubborn. Fall. Stubborn. Yeah. That was the one that counted, girl. Really? That's actually a problem. Okay, where can you get to? Okay. Okay, the issue right now is that both of them can gang up on her and she'll die. Actually, she has a speed bonus right now. That might save her life. The speed might be enough to keep her alive. Can't chain guard her, because her doubles are in the way. Plus three to all stats. That's nice. It's actually really nice. It's tea time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Louis. <laughs> Damn, man, she really didn't get to utilize that. She missed the one that counted. That was eye-opening. Start moving. Okay, divine blessing. Don't know what that does. It won't be easy beating that one. Not with my emblem's power protecting it. <laughs> what is that? Some kind of super buff on somebody? All right, we're gonna have to read those. Okay, so you have hobble. That's a little bit scary. Life Sphere. If unit uses weight without attacking or using items, restores 20 HP and heals status effects. Geosphere. At start of the player phase, if there are allies adjacent to unit, grants defense, resistance, plus three to unit, and those allies for one turn. Okay, that's what he's been triggering that whole time. Um, but all of his units left. I wonder if there's going to be more reinforcements after this, though. Draconic form, unit transformed into and fights as a dragon while engaged, grants plus 10 to max HP and plus 5 to build and all basic stats. And all basic stats, wow, okay. Um, Divine Blessing, user grant one ally a revival stone. Gotcha, so that's what happened. This guy right here. Okay.
Oh, really? It won't... I hate how it does that. Alright, that's fine. Um... Okay, so if I end up putting him in too much trouble, Louie can always engage and run to help him if these guys go after him. I forgot this guy was so close. Um, okay, so you're not going to be able to get the restore on yourself, too. Yeah, it's the stuff. Oh, look at that. You can do the Engage Plus stuff. Ninety-four percent is pretty solid. Your move is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I want that so bad, but we can't do it. I can't even throw him over here, it's too dangerous. He could get blocked off so easily. Damn, I want that. I want it! But neither of you can take hits. Can you take hits from the bow? You can't get doubled. It's a hefty hit, there's no doubt about it. That makes sense, it's what I expected. he was coming up oh shit <laughs> okay two of our five are kind of liabilities it's a bit of an issue isn't it
I think you have to stay there. Not a good hit chance. You were beautiful while you lasted. Yeah, we're in trouble. Fight is not yet done. I will fight for you. Crap, she's dead anyway. Unless uh, something misses her. Because the bow, yeah. She dead. I guess that stops her from- no, she's dead. Hand over the bracelet. I will not be deterred. Okay, what can I do? And if only Spell Spark was two range. Kind of feels weird that it's not. Okay. Just trying to think of my options. So you can't even instruct, huh? I thought instruct uh I thought you could instruct when you weren't engaged. You can't get far enough though. So I'm trying to think of a strat where I can basically use Louie as a wall. And I don't think one exists. Especially because this guy has a ranged option. I might need to go back another turn. Are you... the Divine Dragon? Yes, and I'll be taking back that bracelet now. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a good plan here. 
My plan right now is... Nope, missed, so I can't even push him back. I was gonna push him back. Oh, no, that still wouldn't have worked. If he was here, I could push him back and block, but I can't. Alright. Four, five, six. Okay. Um, you've got movement three, so you can actually kill one of these. And so your tail ends. Yes. Can't miss, bro. Dream well. Hand over the bracelet. I'll manage. Damn, we need more ranged options. I really can't do much this turn. Ah, oh, I can't do that. I, I literally can't do that. get any further than that. Can't do anything about the bow.
What a mess, dude. Yeah, I don't like the positioning I'm kind of being forced into here, but not much else I can do about it. Are you the Divine Dragon? Yes, and I'll be taking back that bracelet now. If the bow doesn't move, this is gonna hit all of them. Yeah, this will be a good one. Don't stand in my way. At least that great ether is solid. Hmm. Okay, that was good. I don't really have a good way to set up a real solid dance right now. I don't think. Um, okay, so what can I do here? What is my best option? You can't really get into the mix, so we've got three attacks. Um, this is probably more effective after their first health bars are gone. Problem is, is you're just gonna get in the way. Which means, unfortunately, I think I need to start with you. Alright, this isn't as effective as it could be. One strike will decide at you! I've got this. All right, I'm playing a little bit fast and loose because I don't have a good setup here, but. I do have somewhat of a plan. Okay, that's going to be really low hit chance. So maybe we go with the 66% because of that 7% crit chance as well. I think that's our best option there. Didn't get a crit, that's okay. Okay, you can reach that position. Um, who you need to restore. Okay. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Interesting. Defeat question mark. So we got him then. Um, I'm trying to milk experience, and experience is not a thing in this DLC. It can't be helped. We must kill everybody. It's the way it must be. <laughs> there is nothing to fear. There's like nothing to gain, and yet I cannot stop myself from doing it. All right, we got there. It was tough. I, I feel like we went in with a pretty weak team, to be honest, so.
Yeah, of course it was Louis as the MVP. Come on, please. 100%. <laughs> uh, they got away. I was hoping we would finally learn their identity. At least we got back the bracelet they were carrying. That's... The bracelet of the ancestor. It seems... different since we last laid eyes on it. Hmm. Maybe this emblem can tell us about their time in enemy hands. I'll summon them again so we can talk. Huh? That's strange. What? The invocation isn't coming to me. Perhaps it's because I'm in a new world? But that's no good. Summoning emblems is what a divine dragon... does. Divine dragon? I'm Tiki. Are you a divine dragon like me? Well... Impossible! Emblems in this state shouldn't be able to speak. Hello, Emblem Tiki. I might be able to summon you again, but your invocation isn't coming to me. Do you know it? I don't know anything about an invocation. Uh, my head feels fuzzy. It hurts. So yeah, she's still red, so um, they're supposed to not be able to talk. Interesting. Please, don't make me fight anymore. I don't like hurting people. You need not act against your will. Allow me to return you to peaceful slumber. You can do that? I can indeed. But I am unfamiliar with this summoning power of which you speak. Um... I'm not completely sold on Tiki's VA, but maybe we'll we'll give it the benefit of the doubt until we hear it when she's no not um red cuz like she's supposed to be kind of labored in her speech right now. The divine dragon of this world was able to cleanse fallen emblems. It would seem that you cannot do the same. So I will send emblem Tiki to rest. In slumber, she will be safe from those who would exploit her power. No longer will she be compelled to fight. You might say we are containing her power in the bracelet. Sadly, since we lack the ability to awaken emblems, she cannot aid us any further. It sounds like our only option right now. Please, go ahead. Um, somebody let me know. Uh, since I didn't do any of the other DLC in the main game, are you able to use your Tiki emblem that you got from the main game in this DLC? Or is it locked away from you? Whatever benefits there might be to keeping her awake, I won't force her to fight. Tiki? I hope we'll meet again someday. I'd like that. When we do, let's play together lots, okay? Absolutely. Farewell, Emblem Tiki. Sweet dreams. <sighs> So it seems like we're not going to be using... Now, so long as we keep her away from the enemy, she will be able to rest. The Thank bracelets you, that we collect. We place our emblems into slumber as a matter of course, to prevent their exploitation. Emblem Tiki was thus asleep when she was taken, but she returned to us awake. Our foe must therefore possess the power to awaken emblems. Only divine and fell dragons can control them in that way. There are no divine dragons left in this world, so that means our enemy is a fell dragon. One of our siblings, in other words. If it's a sibling of yours, then do you have any idea who it could be? We have many brothers and sisters, but we're not acquainted with all of them. Many died in the most recent war. There is no telling which of them survived. The power to control emblems is rare. If we knew the culprit, we would surely recall. Perhaps this child was born after we left Sombron. Or develop this power late. Dragon powers are unpredictable. I cannot transform myself or control emblems at all. Sombron deemed me a failure. If I had stayed with him, I would probably be dead by now. How awful. I managed to survive only because Nell took me with her when she left. <sighs> it angers me to think that our siblings could be behind this. To be given that kind of power. Only to use it for evil. 
What a waste. Nell. Uh, uh, sorry. It's not my intention to poison the mood. I guess at the start of the DLC, I should have known immediately that they were, um, fell dragons rather than divine. Just by the eyes. The red eyes. <laughs> so, divine one. Our objective is to put an end to the ambitions of Sombron's mysterious heir. Since we are fighting to return the emblems to slumber, they will not be able to help us. Knowing this, it is your choice whether or not to join our cause. What say you? Yes, I'll help. <gasps> Splendid! It is such a comfort to have you on our side, isn't it now? After what I saw in that battle, I must agree. But I will remain unsettled by the necessity of fighting alongside this... dead dragon. Oh, I unsettle you, do I? Please, there is no need to quarrel. Why don't the two of you shake Coral. hands and agree to be friends from Coral. now on? I decline. Then I guess I'll pass too. <laughs> you could at least try to get along. Before we depart the castle, Nell, we should say our farewells. Oh, agreed. I didn't know anyone else was in the castle. Is it a person I know? You are welcome to come find out. But what you see may upset you. Hmm. It looks to be a monument of some kind. This is the resting place of the Divine Dragon. Your grave. Lovely. <laughs> I did warn you. We will be just a moment, Divine One. You can go back if you like. Actually, do you mind if I say something? I'd like to speak to my other self, who lived here with you. I think that would be a lovely gesture. Visiting my own gravestone. Not something I ever thought I'd do. I can see why Nell is unsettled by... this situation. Hmm. I promise to fulfill your role, and protect those important to you as best I can. And with that, my reflection, goodbye. <laughs> Why can't I turn into a dragon like you and father? There, there. You may someday. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm weak. No, Nell. You are strong. Surely you will be able to transform eventually. When? Not even father can say for sure. But until then, hold on to this. Your dragon stone? But you won't be able to transform without it. I can if you carry it for me. And I know you will always be by my side. We are two halves of a whole, Nell. This power is ours to share. <sighs> Our power. All right. Xenolog 1 is done, ladies and gents. First part of the DLC complete. Um, so yeah, if you want to see what the uh, next Xenolog is going to look like, uh, make sure to tune into the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Izhar Mella, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Kyle Schluter, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.